leave a message after the tone. Why aren't you responding? If you wasn't ready to read it, then why did you post it? another dorm area but girl they playing concrete right there that ain't gonna be no dorm i don't know what this gonna be but they just completely said no more dorm i thought that was gonna be a nice dorm i know this man be like here come this girl i always ask him can i get on this van but like why not get on the van van when y'all pay for it if i don't got no car and i see this van best believe i'm gonna ask him just like right now. Hello, can you take me to the library? Stuff to do today as far as come on now nits i ain't got time as far as like packing and stuff today is thursday i have a final exam today in psychology and i have to get some stuff together for honors college because apparently they don't want to answer the phone they left me on scene when i uh texted them I, I don't like that so i guess i'm gonna have to go up there after i leave here i also have to pack because move out day is next week. So I'm at the library. I'm gonna ask them for a room so I can study and do this exam. Then after that, I'm leaving here. I'm going straight to the honors college because no, don't leave me on red. I don't like that. I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. room yeah uh 215 is nice charging port right here. I like how long libraries at school stay open. They stay open so long. So what I'm about to do is take my final for psychology and then I won't have to take psychology no more because this lady, she making me mad. She's not emailing me back. There's a lot of stuff that's making me mad about this semester. This semester has probably been the worst semester ever because no I feel like I'm getting bullied 24-7 oh my god it's just a no for me it's depressing it is it's very depressing and I don't like it I'm ready to go home I have never been so ready to go home y'all I'm ready to go home like they're really upsetting me 
but I'm about to do my exam and I'll see you in a minute. I have this room until 1 o'clock, 11, 12, when it's three hours. So we're going to do like a little bit of studying. Then after that, I'm heading to the Unders College if she don't email me back because I need to know. Like school is almost over. I need to know. Okay, so I finished and I made a 94. I think I'm going to try to talk to this lady. Call her on teams because she's not responding and i really need her to respond and if she does not answer i will be walking up there even though i don't have to leave here until one but it's just a simple fact like answer me don't treat me bad like answer me you left me on red why then i sent her a follow-up email she still didn't text back so now i'm gonna have to call her to teams to see what she's doing it's just so frustrating what you have to go through to try to get people to act right it's just irritating and frustrating i know when people graduate they just be so happy like oh my god thank you jesus i don't have to deal with this i understand i completely understand then she read my message again i'm gonna call this lady Oh, she's in a call right now. We're gonna wait our turn because it's starting to make me mad. Please leave a message after the tone. I just feel so disrespected. Like the disrespect that I get here unexplainable it's unacceptable i don't deserve this i'm so ready to go home why aren't you responding you read my mess both both of them i'm so irritated y'all see my face ready to go home I just sent this email to my one professor who never answers her emails. Like, it's so disrespectful. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Ever since we got in this pandemic, people have been so lazy. Students and professors. Like, it's been a mess. I feel as if, yeah, the professors don't have to, um teach class but I still feel as if the professor should still be on this campus because if we needed to call y'all we can't call y'all because that's the office phone where you're not located then you don't want to answer emails I done sent this lady an email five times not to mention I've reached out to the dean of the department the chair to nobody wants to answer nobody wants to answer the phone because they're not there and nobody wants to answer the email and it's starting to tick me off like i'm really getting frustrated make that make sense you can't make it make sense because it doesn't make sense i'm irritated y'all i'm so ready to go home some professors try to do what they can do but when you just flat out don't answer your email and that's the only source of contact we can get from y'all is disrespectful it's very disrespectful it's just another thing you leave me on red like i know you're reading it because it shows i'm finna show y'all what it showed me you don't see that eye right there y'all see that that mean they read it it even tells you seen y'all see that it says seen that's the only advantage you really have when it comes to teams you can see all of these things so they can't lie and then with emails you can just ignore them that's basically what they be doing is ignoring the students emails and it's frustrating it's so frustrating if you wasn't ready to read it then why did you press on it so i just um got off the phone with her i feel a little bit better but i'm still kind of upset like I, I don't like when people do that that's so irritating but yeah thanks for listening to my ted talk
Um, now we have to get this other teacher to respond. Girl, I don't even think I got a pen the first. Now for our urinary medications. You should have received something in the mail. What car? What driver's license do I have? Where my house is? Since you know so much. What car I drive? What model is it? What color is it? How much mileage it has on it? What license, ma'am? Bro, that stuff was love to harass. Like, go on, on somewhere. I think I'm gonna give y'all a long vlog today because this is gonna be the very last vlog on campus because I'm going home, babe. I'm going home. I can't wait to go home. Ooh. Girl, I'm tired. ready to go. y'all this hold on y'all it's so nice out here like let me go over here so y'all can see to y'all so gotta catch y'all up of course i did record a video for spring fest but it wasn't like a week in the life because i didn't go to everything i only went to the comedy show it was like okay then we had an air balloon a hot air balloon thing i'll put clips up right here so y'all can see it It usually happens as it gets closer to sunset, things calm down a little bit. That's great. Go <laughs> hey, We 
Josh so had um, a silent party. <laughs> That was fun. So I'll put like those clips up because it's pointless of me making that one separate video because it'll only be two minutes long. And what's the point? What's the purpose? So I just put it in this video. It'll be long. Yeah. And also I had to do a extra credit assignment. The things that we do to get our grades, how they supposed to be looking is very horrible, but it's great at the same time. Like, it's so cringy and embarrassing, but you know at least the teacher seen it i'll put like the last clip in it yes we had to make a drug commercial about this drug called zidia it is a medication to lower high cholesterol the commercial it was it was funny but i just don't want to put it on youtube because it's cringy to me i'll put the uh last clip on there so y'all can see ask your doctor if zedia is right for you Zedia, a different way to fight cholesterol. Do not hit me, sir. Do not hit me, sir. Jesus. Y'all hear that? See, just disrespectful. Girl, anyways, I got a Chick-fil-A uh, sandwich. What'd I get? I got a deluxe spicy chicken sandwich with a fry and a drink. I asked for it to be large, but she did not charge me for it it to be large and i ended up getting a medium which is fine i just went i just ended up going to the corner store and getting something from there instead y'all the sun be eating my hair look at it it's dry all over again i just put some oil in it this morning <laughs> yeah, I finally made it back. Nothing to eat and relax real, real quick because y'all. But I'm tired. We sleep. That's what I need. I need caffeine. Yeah, guys, because after this, we're going to start packing so I can go home. I go home next Tuesday. So, and today is Thursday. I was supposed to start packing two days ago. Ask me, did I do it? Nope. I'm going to eat and stuff and relax for a little while. Then I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Capiche? So, I really didn't even eat my, I haven't even touched my Chick-fil-A sandwich yet, so yeah. It's time for me to pack now. Look at this. I'm so ready to go home, but haven't packed nothing. Haven't touched nothing. Picked up a box the first. Look at this. I have to pack all of this, and I leave Tuesday. So, today's agenda is to get majority of this packed up let's unplug this refrigerator that's the very first thing we need to do we are going to get my life together and pack majority of this stuff so toodles <laughs>
feel it so interstellar When I'm with you, I swear I'm in heaven Baby Just the next day, I know y'all like, what? Yeah, I threw a tantrum because I didn't feel like packing all this stuff and I started actually throwing stuff and I started getting irritated, but I'm almost kind of done now that I'm looking at it. I'm almost done because it's really nothing in my closet. Majority of my stuff is in the desk. Another thing why I think I couldn't finish packing was because I was, I don't know, I was just irritated and then I kept getting bored. Like me cleaning, I mean cleaning, yeah, cleaning and packing is fine, but it's just like... I was listening to music and I kept getting bored of that. So I think when I started watching like YouTube and stuff, I was going a little bit faster. It wasn't like much of a difference, but I was going a little bit faster. I think it was more so I was bored because I was recording on my phone and listening to music on my Amazon Echo Dot. But that's about it and it was boring so so yeah guys i guess i'm gonna put this in time lapse and y'all can watch me uh, um pack this stuff so i can get out and go so let's go and get this knocked out so i don't have to worry about this anymore It's just a drive. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes on me. Music keeps my lonely. I've been up since I don't know where I am. Trying to create a vibe. Trying to get these hours in. Punching the clock, I get it. Gotta go hard with it. Honey, honey, I'ma start with it. Coach looking for starters. Hop in the game, I'm like hardy. Ballin' harder than spawning, ballin' harder than spawning, yeah, yeah. We put in this working notice. Early birds don't do no chirping. She sing my catalog. I said I'm proud of that. She sing my catalog. majority as we can see that's that and I have some stuff on the floor but this stuff is going to my house everything else is pretty much I have to wait so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope this was a long enough vlog since this is the last vlog until I move back on campus again so thank you guys so much and see y'all in the next video